Yes team, what's up? Today we're going to talk about the inner unit, okay? This is the core, the inner unit of the core. So it consists of four major muscle groups that work as a system. So the first one you can see on the list is the deep muscles running along the spine, multifidus, okay? Then the other muscles of the pelvic floor, we have the deepest abdominal muscles, and then the last but not least, we have the TVA. So let's jump into the first part, okay? The diaphragm. It's not just the respiratory muscle. I want to emphasize to you that its role as a primary stabilizer of the core, okay? So proper breathing patterns and diaphragmatic control are crucial for core stability. The next is the pelvic floor, okay? So this animation here is obviously the woman's, um, it's not the male's, but regardless of that, these muscles at the base of the pelvis work in coordination with the diaphragm to provide stability and support to the core. Or if you have women who really struggle with, you know, holding the PP because they're skipping, jumping, well, these are the muscles that are responsible uh, for that. And third one, we have the TVA, transverse abdominis, okay? Often considered the deepest layer of the abdominal muscles, the TVA acts like a natural weight belt when engaged properly. And last but not least, we have the multifidus. These small muscles run along the spine and play a crucial role in spinal stability. So, just as a coordinated crew working in unison can propel a boat forward effectively, the harmonious functioning of these core components support the body's movements. And the inner unit as a whole, uh, their primary job with regard to movement is to stiffen the spine, rib cage, and pelvic girdle so that the head, arms, and legs have, um, what could I say, a stable working foundation. Uh, one of my favorite sayings uh, about this topic, I got it from Charles Poliquin, and he says, you can't fire a cannon from a canoe. And uh, what he's trying to say is that, that the importance of the inner unit function to the stability of your body is paramount, you know. Stabilization begins in the core during functional movements and migrates into the periphery.